Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Taku. In this episode, we find ourselves exploring this beautiful anchorage, Bahia San Francisquito. So last night Curtis was putting the fishing rod away and uh, he dropped his lucky lure in the water. So we're dropping the dinghy right now and we're going to go searching for it. Last night he marked on Navionics where we were when we dropped it in because we've moved around quite a lot since it fell in the water. So we're going to go track down where we marked it on Navionics and Curtis is going to dive down about 30 feet and hopefully he finds it. My brand new lucky lure. Wish us luck. We knew there was a pretty slim chance of finding the lure, but we had to look anyways. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. <laughs> At this point, we'd pretty much given up looking for the lure and we were just swimming around, seeing how long we could hold our breath and checking out all the different fish that were swimming around our boat. We were anchored in about 25-30 feet of water and we were super fortunate that the visibility was great but there was no way we were going to find the lure. No luck on the lure but uh, we had a fun time swimming around. Maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Anna's doing dishes and I'm going fishing. Pretty good deal, eh? Spearfishing is one of the most sustainable and selective forms of fishing, and out here, it's our main source of food. Oh, they're really fighting for it. This is always the best part about going spearfishing, is coming home and deciding what you're gonna cook up. We get so creative sometimes, especially when we're away from grocery stores and whatnot. And tonight, it's enchiladas. Thanks for the pargo. Thank you, good catch. So this is the second time we've had a bird on our solar panels and this time it's a booby. And Curtis has been trying to get him off because he doesn't want him to poop all over the solar panel, but he's not budging. Come on. He's territorial. <laughs> oh, I think he just pooped. Oh no, that was a bee. Nah, he doesn't like the bees either. <laughs> All right, so this is exactly why Curtis doesn't like it when birds land on our boat. And I'm always like, oh, it's so cute. Just leave them. I'll take a picture. And he's like, no, get this thing off before it <laughs> all over our boat. <laughs> and this is why. How disgusting is that? So close to going into our hatch. It just missed. <laughs> We actually had this open, I just closed it because I'm gonna give the boat a spray down. And that's where our bed is in the V-Birth. So for good measure, all of our bedding is being washed today because that could have just barely splattered in there. This could have gone very, very badly. What are you doing today, Curtis? Gonna go wash our dirty bum and change the zinks. 
<laughs> it's been a little while. <laughs> Cleaning the bottom of the boat, a sailor's favorite job. Yeah, right. Ever since we left Canada and sailed to warmer waters, the growth has gotten so much worse. If you don't clean your bottom at least once a month, you'll start to notice a lot of barnacles and a lot of other growth. We've almost rubbed off all of our ablative bottom paint from cleaning it, so we're really looking forward to hauling out in a few months to redo the bottom. While I was down there, I also changed the zincs. This is our old zinc, and this is our new zinc. So we are heading out to spear fishing again. This time I'm gonna use Curtis's gun and he's gonna use mine. Well, my full spear. So let's hope that I get something. I tried to use it the other day, but uh, he already had two grouper on there and it was just really heavy for trying to use the gun for the first time with the weight of the other two fish. So we're gonna try again today without two fish hanging off of it on a stringer. So wish me luck. So sometimes Curtis has to do this to my pool spear because uh, I like to aim at rocks. Your poor spear. They don't taste very good. <laughs> And just as I took Curtis's gun, I landed my first grouper on a spear gun. I may have got one, but it definitely wasn't the best shot. Just sending my parents some weather because they're coming down from Canada right now just off of Oregon coast so I'm just gonna send them some weather and then we're gonna go do some spear fishing. Yeah. And speaking of weather, we had our eyes peeled on a system that was looking like it was going to form into a hurricane. So we were making sure that we weren't going to fall in the line of fire here. All right, we are on our way. We are heading out just around the corner, not too far. 
we're finally moving because we've been here for like, I don't know, two weeks almost now. So it feels good to finally get some wind in our sails. Lots of wind, lots of wind, record speeds here. It looks windy over there. Just headed around the corner, I'm slowly drifting there because there's not much wind. It's only like three miles away, so we're 45 minutes away at this speed. Very slow. motoring now. The current is supposed to be flooding and going with us, but I think we're caught in a bit of a back eddy right now, so we're not really going anywhere. So we fired up the engine and uh, we're motor sailing. Oh yeah, what do you guys think of our new hats? We got matching ones. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to go that extra mile, check out our Patreon. Our Patreons are the reason that these videos are possible. So a big shout out to all of our current Patreons. You guys are the best.